What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Settled here coming to you with another rebuilding video, and I thought that this time we were going to do the one and only Chicago Bulls, bring them some more championships. Uh, we're going to get a little Professor 2K's draft class before we start looking into the roster itself. Uh, basically, on this roster, the only person safe is Jimmy Butler. Everyone else is up for trades. Uh, I really don't like some of these players. Like, the lineup is kind of weird. This, what they're doing with the team just kind of threw me off just a little bit. They have almost too many guards. Uh, D-Wade, uh, you're gone, unfortunately, because you're you're just not worth it being on my team. I can get Al Horford and Marcus Smart. That's actually a pretty damn... Ooh, Mike Conley. And Zebo, Dwight Howard. Chris Bosh. I can bring Chris Bosh here. Uh, Kemba Walker, Marvin Williams, Derek Favors, Rudy Gobert. Kyle Lowry, Jonas Valanciunas. Oh my god, some of these trades are insane. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Kyle Lowry Jonas Valanciunas. That gives us two starting pieces for our team. Uh, so we get a better starting point guard and a center for us that isn't named Robin Lopez. And Dwayne Wade, I like him a lot, but uh I feel like he's not gonna be the piece we need. I'm gonna turn around and trade Robin Lopez. Rondo and a top 10 first rounder from the Kings. Uh, I want to see exactly what we get offered here. Joakim Noah's an awful. Ooh, Harrison Barnes. I kind of like Harrison Barnes in terms of what we need here. We just need somebody, a good defensive small forward for us. Harrison Barnes is pretty good at defense, and his three point shooting ability is pretty solid too. I just want to take a look in our lineup. We have Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler. Harrison Barnes, Dwight Powell, Jonas Valanciunas. So we're obviously going to need to upgrade our power forward position. Uh, let me see what kind of free agents there are out there. Jin Lian, I'm actually willing to sign him. Uh, we have too many people on roster. So RJ Hunter, I will release you. Valentine, I'll keep you. Zipser, I will release you. And everyone else will stay. I'm going to get Jin Lian. And um, who else do I want? Uh, yeah, Mana Yunus, if you want a minimum, yeah. Okay. So, I know I just traded for both of them, but I want to flip Mana Yunus, Jidlian, and a first rounder all together in order to get one at least decent power forward. I want to get somebody who's starting out. I can get Josh Richardson. I actually like Josh Richardson in terms of a bench player. And since he's so young, he's going to develop pretty well. Um, I'm going to do this, actually. This isn't what I wanted to get out of it. But uh, Josh Richardson, I, won't, I like him in terms of what he's coming off the bench. I'm going to do uh, Dwight Powell and two for future first rounders. Uh, any good power forwards I could get for him? I could get Andrew Bogut. Literally, not not really any good power forwards out there. I could get J.R. Smith for him. I'm going to do this just so I could take away some of the Cavs' depth. I'm going to give up two picks for it, but I feel like the Bulls are going to be well enough this season that it's not going to matter. We have Miritich starting, and I'm actually kind of okay with that. So we have Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, Harrison Barnes, Nikola Miritich, Jonas Valanciunas, J.R. Smith, Michael Carter-Williams, Dougie McBuckets, uh, Josh Richardson, and Bobby Portis is getting no minutes. I'm actually going to run a 10-man rotation just for the beginning of the season just so I can get uh, Portis some minutes. I'm going to go to team training, make sure that we have team chemistry set up because we are only at 22%. I like the look of this team so far. I don't know if we're going to be able to win a championship with this roster yet, but we're definitely going to be able to make a run at a hopefully like a first seed or something this season. Here, let me... We go right to the all-star break here. I'm going to simulate all the way to the all-star break, and I will see you guys then. If I make any trades, I'll see them. Otherwise, we'll see you at the all-star break. Okay. Here we are at the all-star break, and then this trade came up for Rudy Gobert and a first-rounder. Uh, or, sorry, Jonas Valanciunas for Rudy Gobert and one of our first-rounders. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas just isn't cutting it. Rudy Gobert is a straight-up upgrade for him, too. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I want to see what I could get for Harrison Barnes. He's only an 80. He's not cutting it quite as well as I expected him to. Uh, I could get DeAndre Jordan. Uh, holy shit, that's a that's a pretty good deal. Let me check. I'm gonna look through these trades just to make sure. And yeah, I'm gonna do this DeAndre Jordan and a second rounder. Uh, yeah, 
I'm gonna do that, and that lets me do this to Rudy Gobert, uh, get a starting power forward finally. So, now our starting lineup is looking pretty damn solid. So we have Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, Dougie McBuckets, Rudy Gobert, DeAndre Jordan. Uh, we don't have a starting small forward. It's kind of shitty. I'd rather have, let me see. I'd rather have a Butler be small forward and then have Jared Smith be our starting shooting guard or Josh Richardson, I'm fine with either. Uh, so we have Kyle Lowry, Josh Richardson, Jimmy Butler, Rudy Gobert, DeAndre Jordan. Then off the bench, we have Michael Carter Williams, J.R. Smith, Nikola Miritich, Dougie McBuckets, Bobby Portis, and Chris Henderson getting no minutes. Uh, I like the look of this team. I'm going to simulate all the way now to the season rewards here. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be doing better. We were injured a lot with all of our players. So that's why our record is so low. But hopefully, we can finish off as a second seed in the Eastern Conference. Here we are at the end of season awards where LeBron James wins MVP with 26 points, 11 boards, 9 assists, 2 steals, 1.5 blocks. Ben Simmons wins rookie of the year with 13 points, 10 boards, 6 assists, 2 steals. Brandon Knight is 6 man with 17 points, 6 assists. Anthony Davis is defensive player with 14, almost 15 boards, 3 blocks. D'Angelo Russell wins most improved with 21 points, 6 assists, 2 steals. Steve Kerr is coach of the year with 63 United States record of the Warriors. Do we have any Bulls on any of these all NBA teams? I uh, don't see anybody. Defensive team, maybe? No, nobody even on a defensive team. We don't have any rookies either that matters. So we're going to, we are second, obviously. 52 and 30, we ended up finishing, and we did manage to make the second seed. Make it as the second seed, sorry. Uh, so Kyle Lowry is still here. Everyone looks to be okay. We don't really have any, okay. Miritich is injured, but uh, everyone else is filling in. I like our starting lineup. J.R. Smith is pretty good. Uh, he's not the best starting shooting guard, but I feel like we can make a run with it. I feel like we can beat the Bucks pretty easily. So, yes, we do. We beat them at five. Uh, so now we're up against the Pistons. I feel like we can beat them, too. They have Drummond and Jackson, but, uh, yeah, we beat them at seven. We're actually up against the Toronto Raptors, Kyle Lowry's old team. I wonder if we can make it to the finals already in the first year. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so he's not he's injured, but it's not a super serious injury. It's only a bruised hip, so that's fine with me. Everyone's back from their injuries, and Josh Richardson's in our starting lineup now, too. I'm fine with this. I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm going to simulate this game by game. They take the first game uh, and the second game, and we take the third and the fourth. I'm going to go to coaching lineup. Yes, so I'm going to change this to a nine-man rotation, make sure that our starters get the most minutes possible. And I'm fine with this lineup so far. We're going to take the next game, and they take the lead, and it's now a 3-3 game. No injuries, please tell me there's no injuries. Yes, okay, so no injuries at all, thankfully. So, going to simulate this with SimCast here. Hopefully we could actually make it to the finals. I don't know if we'll be able to beat the Warriors in our first year. But, um, let me make sure all this is set up. Okay, don't think we'll beat the Warriors, but if we make it to the finals, that'll just be a nice addition to have under our belt for the first season. And we score 52 points in the first quarter alone. Insane numbers. Uh, we're already at 100 by halftime. Yeah, we're kind of, this should be a blowout. I don't know how we destroyed them so heavily, but, uh, we kind of obliterated them. We scored 167 points. We beat them by 50 points in the final game. Jimmy Butler drops 51 points and gets 12 assists. Jesus, 19 for 22, 9 for 9, 4 for 4 from 3. That's insane numbers. Oh, my God. He just decided to destroy them single-handedly. We had DeAndre Jordan getting a double-double with three blocks, too. Michael Carter-Williams had 10 assists. Rudy Gobert almost had a double-double. This team is insane. We're up against the Golden State Warriors. Jimmy Butler is just destroying it from the small forward position. Uh, maybe that's what the friggin' Bulls need, just to keep Jimmy Butler there forever. Just make sure he's a small forward. Because, Jesus, he's doing insane. So we take the first game, and they take the second. We take the third, and they take the fourth. They're up 3-2. Do we have any injuries? I didn't know if we were going to make it in the first season anyways. And Jimmy Butler's injured. Thank freaking god we're gonna lose this game so we're just gonna see me at the game we managed to win and okay so we lose in seven but i'm fine with that because jimmy butler decided to go off 30 points 10 boards three and a half assists uh 
insane. Got to go to league meetings. Uh, make sure everything's rejected. Uh, NBA draft. I don't think we have any picks. So I'm just going to make sure that we make a couple trades if we need them. All right. So, trade finder. JM, Jimmy Buckets is still injured. He's going to be out for a little bit longer. So, I'm going to trade away Rudy Gobert. 21 mil now. Uh, he's not really worth that contract. I like Jay Crowder. Jonas Valanciunas, I can bring him back. Uh, Seaman Adams. I'll do this for Jay Crowder, a cheap contract for an 81 overall. 2K is loading super slow. Uh, J.R. Smith, you're gone to 13 mil, not worth his contract. Kylo Quinn as a backup center, that would be pretty good for us, but uh, I don't really want to do that. J.J. Barea, I'll do that because I can get a good backup point guard. Pretty cheap. Um, who else do I need to trade away? DeAndre Jordan. I'm going to field offers for him. I'm not 100% sure if I want to trade him, but if I get a good offer for somebody else, then I might. Brooke Lopez is an 83. Wow. Yeah, no. He's making the same amount of money, so it's not going to matter if I wanted him anyways. Um, Tristan Thompson, Chris Middleton. Yeah, no. This is going to be the lineup that I keep here. I'm going to go to team player options. Uh, Mick Buckets. Uh, do I want to? No, I'm not going to actually. Yeah, I'm just going to let him walk. Um, yeah, so qualifying offers. Michael Carter Williams. I will I will give it both of these guys. The, I will not give Miritich the qualifying offer. But I'll give Michael Carter Williams the qualifying offer so we can get him back if he needs it. Kyle Lowry, do we have bird rights on him? Yes, we do. So I will give him that. Miritich, I will also offer you a contract. And McDermott, I will give you a contract. Free agency. Let's see who is here. Uh, Steph Curry, I'm going to give you whatever you want. Kevin Durant, I will also give you a max deal. Uh, actually, shit. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're not, getting, we're not his number one anyways. Uh, I will give Chris Paul the max deal. Blake Griffin, I will also extend you the most I can offer. Damn, so we're losing out of both of them. I will give Wade a max deal. I'll bring him back again. 28 mil. Player option. Gordon Hayward. I'll do that too. Everyone smalling offers. Bunch of people moving around here. Uh, if I could get Chris Paul, honestly, that'd be super good for us. No, oh, yeah, so we're not, we're not even close. So I'm gonna make sure I offer Wade one more deal, 28. Twenty-eight mil, player option. Uh, accepted other accepted offer. I'm going to let Michael Carter Wells walk. For that money, I'm not going to give you that. Not 10 mil a year. Dwayne Wade, Miritich, Mick Buckets. All right, cool. Kyle Lowry leaves us. Okay. Uh, thanks, dude. So I can't get anyone else. Uh, Ibaka, how much do you want? We don't really have any cap left. Zebo. What's our minimum right now? I guess we don't have a minimum. That's kind of shitty. Yeah, we barely have anything for minimum. Level exception. Uh, if I trade away... I don't think I can trade anybody. Alright, so then I just have to go look at free agency and get some old vets to fill up some roster spots. Kyle Korver, I'll give you an offer. David West, I'll give you one too. Uh, Channing Fry, I'll give you one. Kyle Corver, David West, Channing Fry. All right, so 50 players. Player regression. Hopefully, no one drops too much. Uh, Jimmy Butler is about to come back two in two to four months, which should be by the start of the season. DeAndre Jordan, Jay Crowder, JJ Barea. We don't actually have a starting point guard. Fuck. All right, so trading camps. Let's go here. 
that's kind of weird. We lost a lot out. We actually lost a lot on that offseason. We're going to do 2018 draft class. No. Training camps, hurry up. Come on, 2K, stop being slow. Yeah, obviously we need to do that because no one does the 2K Hoop Summit. So, let's have potential. I'm going to put that on J. Uh, Josh Richardson, I'll give you untapped potential. So you're B plus now. Advance. Okay, so here is our lineup for the first season. JJ Bray is our starting point guard. That kind of sucks. Uh, and Butler is still out for another four to six weeks. Okay, well, so... Yeah, this team isn't looking that good in comparison to what last season was. All right, so sorry, Wade. I know I just signed you, but uh, gotta gotta shop, shop around here. Let's see what kind of offers I can get. Kemba Walker, Nicholas Batum, Jamal Murray. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get Kemba Walker on this team because we need a point guard. Because I don't want JJ Perea to be our starting point guard. Nicholas Batum could be pretty good for us too. Uh, Josh Richardson's our starting shooting guard. Um, no. What I will do is change Batum from small forward to shooting guard. Nope. He would go down. Everyone goes down, apparently. So, uh, I will move. Yeah, I'll move Butler back to shooting guard. So, we're basically going to have to deal with this team. I want to see what he can get for Bobby Portis, just in case I can upgrade my power forward position. Uh, I don't have any picks. So, let's see what he can get for Bobby Portis. I get Festus, Ozeli. Uh Yeah, a lot of our people left. A lot of the players that we needed ended up dipping out on us and not wanting to sign. Or they'd sign at the wrong time. So that kind of screwed us over a little bit. Uh, I want to see what I can get for these guys. Oh, jeez. Jordan Hill. I'm going to do this for Jordan Hill. I'm going to move Jordan Hill over to power forward. Upgrade him a little bit. All right, so this is just going to be the starting lineup we're going to have to deal with. Uh, I'm going to simulate all the way to the trade deadline. Hopefully, we could do pretty well by then. I might make a couple trades until then. But uh, I will see what we could do, and I will see you guys at the Okay, so I know this is pretty damn close now to suddenly being a New York Knicks rebuild all over again. But Chris Porzingis, Lance Thomas for Bobby Portis and Kemba Walker. Uh, I'm going to do this because Chris Porzingis is going to fill in that power forward position for us. And what I'm going to do now is flip. Batum and see if I can get something for him. He's a $22 million contract. I want to see if I can get a point guard out of him. Uh, there's no really impressive point guards coming out of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Dwight Howard and flip Dwight Howard to see if I can get a point guard for him. And if I don't get one out of him, I might keep Dwight Howard and actually flip DeAndre Jordan. But I'd like to see what I could get for Dwight Howard. Uh, Mike Conley. I can get Mike Conley here. He's a pretty good, damn, damn, damn good point guard. Uh, let me see something real quick. If I can get something, a better point guard out of DeAndre Jordan, maybe, then I might do that instead. But uh, I know I can get Mike Conley out of Dwight Howard. Yeah, so I'm going to do Dwight Howard, and I'm going to grab Mike Conley for that. Oh, Kevin Love's here. Yeah, but don't need him, though, because we have friggin' Porzingis. God. So, our lineup is looking kind of insane with Mike Conley, Jimmy Butler, Jay Crowder, Chris Stapps, Brzezikis, DeAndre Jordan. Off the bench, we have Jordan Hill, JJ Perea, Josh Richardson, Kyle Korver, Lance Thomas. Uh, I like the look of this team pretty much. It looks pretty damn solid for us. I want to see any good free agents to sign. Nope. All right, so we're going to simulate the rest of the way to the trade deadline. We ended up being... 22 and 10, good enough for first in our conference, but I think that with this team, we're going to be able to make a run for the championship for real. Okay, so I didn't want my team to look too much like the last rebuilding video, so I decided to look around and see what I could get for Chris Zingas, and this tier came up for Andre Drummond and Chris Zingas for uh, for Chris Zingas, Mike Conley for Andre Drummond and Reggie Jackson. Uh, Andre Drummond's just going to be a better overall center. 
And what I'm going to do now is go look at DeAndre Jordan, who is injured. Oh, Jesus. I forgot about that. So I'm going to actually just change DeAndre Jordan over to power forward. Then. Yeah, so he'll go up a couple overall for that. So our lineup, once he comes back, it would be Reggie Jackson, Jimmy Butler, Jay Crowder. I want to see, just in case there is a better player I could get out of Reggie Jackson. No picks. I'm just going to do Reggie Jackson basically in a flat-up trade. Straight up. Uh, any any solid point guards. Goran Dragic is not better, in my opinion. Yeah, so no better point guards. So I'm just going to keep Reggie Jackson. I'm going to simulate all the way to the end of the season here. And hopefully we could finish off as the top seed in the Eastern Conference. Here we are at the end of season awards where James Harden wins MVP with 32.5 points, 8 rebounds, 7.5 assists, 1.5 steals, half a block. Jason Tatum wins Rookie of the Year with 16.6 boards, 5 assists, 2 steals, or sorry, 2 blocks. Alec Burks wins 6 man with 13 points, 4 boards, 4 assists, 1 steal, half a block. Eddie Davis wins Defensive Player of the Year with 16 boards, 2.5 blocks, and 1 steal. Greg Monroe of the Raptors, who's been traded, I guess, wins Most Improved with 12 boards, 12 points, 10 boards. Three assists, one and a half blocks, and Logan Schmidt of the Timberwolves somehow wins Coach of the Year with 61 record overall. Uh, let us see if we have anybody from our team. We have Andre Drummond on All NBA second team, third team. We have nobody. Uh, all defensive first team is also Andre Drummond, and second team we don't have anybody. I don't think we have any rookies yet. So we managed to get 53-29, which is good enough for second in the Eastern Conference. So Conference standings, we are one game behind the Cavs. And that would be eight games behind the Wol Timberwolves. Who do they have? Chris Dunn, GF Teague. Oh, so that's a pretty good point guard duo here. Two really cheap contracts for them, too. They have Andrew Wiggins, Rachan Holmes, Carl Anthony Towns, Joakim Noah, I don't really know how they're doing so well. Zach Levine. Uh, I don't really know exactly how they're doing so well, but they are. This is our lineup for right now. Uh, I like our starting lineup a lot. Wow, Kyle Korver is like dead. Yeah, he tore in left elbow lig ligament. So, going to go changes. Oh, Popovich is our coach. That's cool. So, we should definitely win the championship if I make it a nine-man rotation now. So, Reggie Jackson, Jimmy Butler, Jake Crowder, DeAndre Jordan, Andre Drummond, Jordan Hill, J.J. Barea, Josh Richardson, and Lance Thomas. Tiamis, coming off the bench. Uh, let's look at the player stats on the season. Jimmy Butler is leading the team with 20 points. Uh, six boards, five and a half assists, two steals. Uh, Andre Drummond's second leading score with 20 points, 14 boards, one and a half steals, two blocks. Reggie Jackson has 18, almost 19 points, nine assists, one steal. John D. Jordan has 12 and 12 for two blocks. Jay Crowder has 11 Five, two, one steal. Josh has 10 points, 8 points, 5 points with Korver. Uh, so the paint is, it has insane defense right now. Like, this would be terrifying just to have anybody to have to drive against. So, we're up against the Miami Heat in the first round. Josh Richardson's old team. I'm going to simulate the current round because I feel like we could beat them. And we sweep them. We are now up against the Celtics. I want to see who is on their roster. I think, yeah, they were one game behind us. So I want to see what kind of players they have. Isaiah Thomas, Rudy Gobert, Al Horford. So that's a pretty good duo in terms of their paint, but I think ours is better. Avery Bradley, Harry Giles, they drafted. Uh, Harry Giles is pretty good. He's an 80 overall already. Jalen Brown, I think we could beat them. We're going to take this game by game. Take the first game. We take the second game. Uh, they take the third. They take the fourth. And they are up 3-2. Anyone injured? Uh, no, just Kyle Corbett still, but that doesn't matter. We should be able to tie this up, and we do. So we are down to the seventh game in the semifinals. Uh, tight deny. And we should be able to beat them, hopefully. I feel like Jimmy Butler might go off. Uh, let's see. So we're not looking good in the first quarter. Hopefully in the second we can come back, and we're starting to win it out. Yeah, so we tie it up in the second. Third. Uh, they're coming out to a lead in the third. We're, we're losing that one. But hopefully we can win it in the fourth. It's a close game. It's super close. And we end up beating them in 12. Uh, DeAndre Jordan led us with 22 points. Reggie Jackson had 20 and 12. 
Jimmy Butler had 19, 15, and 14 boards coming out of uh, Drummond, which is good to see. We're facing the Cavs. Uh, make sure everything's automated, changed around. Uh, no injuries besides Kyle Korver still, so that's good for us. I'm going to go look at the rosters, see what the Cavs have. And they have LeBron James, Kyrie, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, Dwight Powell. Uh, they don't really have a shooting guard, but uh, I guess it's okay because you do have Kyrie. Uh, I'm going to assume like, the first game, they take the first, they take the second. Can we take the third? No, they, they are up 3-0. Uh, Jay Crowder is cold. Okay, uh, that's not cool. Alright, as long as we don't get swept, I guess, that's fine. 3-2, uh, 3-3. Three, three, three. So we bring it back to Game 7 against the Cavs in the Eastern Conference Finals. JJ Barea is injured. Uh, I'm going to do a sim cast here. Game 7. Uh, wow, the Thunder ended up beating uh, the Western Conference. So, deny... All right, so injuries. We have Kyle Corbett, J.J. Brea, but they have Ursan Eliasova out for the season. Uh, I'm going to go two minutes again. All right, so simulate the game. First quarter, they take a lead pretty heavily. Oh, and we catch up in the first quarter, so it's only by four points. Hopefully, we can take the second. Uh, second, super close. We barely take the second. Third quarter... Yeah, wow, the third quarter. This is a close game. Uh, we end up, we're winning the fourth. We're destroying them in the fourth. Clutch team here, 18-point win. We destroy them in the fourth. I'm guessing our defense in the paint just absolutely obliterated them as we beat them by 23 in that quarter. Andre Drummond drops 38 points by himself, 12 boards. Reggie Jackson at 19, 11. Jimmy Butler even at 17 and 10. He had a double-double as well. Uh, even DeAndre Jordan almost had a double-double, but he had six blocks. I'm guessing he did some clutch shit in that last quarter there. And J.J. Perea had eight assists, which is good to see from him. Josh Richardson was shooting decently, 10 points out of him. I can't ask too much, but this team this team looks pretty well. So we actually ended up making it to the finals in our second season against the fifth-seeded Oklahoma City Thunder. I like the look of this team. Uh, I'm going to be surprised if we end up winning this time. So I'm going to go to the roster. I'm going to go look. See what the Thunder have. Uh, Westbrook, Steven Adams, Edis Cantor. Cameron Payne has a day-to-day -day bruised left hip. And they don't have any more injuries. So it's basically just Westbrook, Steven Adams. Basically just Westbrook, to be honest. One-of-a-kind player here. Uh, so we're going to take the first game. We're going to simulate this game by game. We take the first game. We take the second. They take the third. We take the fourth. And let's simulate this game here. I'm going to make sure everything... Oh no, DeAndre Jordan is injured. He's down three overall, so it's not a super bad injury, but still. Andre Drummond. What do you mean, season? Bruised right shoulder season. Oh, because the end of the season? But that's kind of... I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're going to simulate this game here. Hopefully we can beat them out. First quarter, they're taking a pretty... We're taking the lead. I was going to say, we only beat them by two in that first quarter, but the second quarter here, we are we beat them by seven in that one. Third quarter, they're taking the lead here. I think Westbrook decides he's going to go off now. Fourth quarter, it's pretty close. Close game, and it looks like they're going to take the fourth quarter. Yeah, they beat us by 10. Drummond tried to win it by 23 and 13. Uh, we're going to simulate Simcast one more time. Let's see if we can beat them this time tight and simulate the game uh first quarter it's close for a little bit here and we end up beating him by seven in that one second quarter they are taking the lead here not by not a huge lead but enough to even it up third quarter we're taking nope never mind just as i said that they decide they're gonna go off and fourth quarter are we are we about to win it we are up 11 points and yeah, so we're up by 11 points in the fourth quarter. I, Reggie Jackson is leading us with 24 points, three assists. No, sorry, three rebounds, seven assists. Uh, Andre Drummond, even though he's injured, had 13, 16 and a block. Jimmy Butler had 26, 8, and five steals. Josh Richardson had 13 points, and DeAndre Jordan had 12 and 16. Good to see from my team. I'm going to jump in here so we can see the celebration for the finals. Oh, and it's over the Chicago Bulls. 
champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. As you saw from the championship celebration, we win the finals uh, finally in our game as the one and only Andre Drummond wins finals MVP with 22 and almost 23 points, 15 boards, one steal, two and a half blocks. Uh, some pretty damn good numbers coming out of him in our second season. Uh, we beat them in six against the Oklahoma City Thunder, which is good for us. We're going to look at the roster here for, to get a look at just what the final roster looked like. Andre Drummond was injured with a bruised right shoulder, but he played through it and he ended up winning the finals MVP because of it. Jimmy Butler led the team here. As our team was actually pretty damn stacked, just our starting lineup, our bench was actually kind of weak in consideration, considering how generally I build my team, just the entire thing is pretty much stacked. But uh, this time it was basically just the starting lineup carrying us. We had Jimmy Butler, Andre Drummond, DeAndre Jordan, Reggie Jackson, Jay Crowder, and off the bench we had J.J. Barea, Josh Richardson, Jordan Hill, Lance Thomas, Jay and Grant, Kyle Corver, David West, Denzel Valentine, and Josh Richardson is probably one of my favorite bench assets. He's an insanely good three-point shooter, and he develops pretty well in terms of a bench piece, never asking for a lot of money from us either. Um, so overall, this was my team. I, You know, it's not the best, but we won a championship in the second season, so we probably did something right here. Probably Jimmy Butler just leading us, being like the beast he is. So if you guys like this rebuild, feel free to leave it down in the comments below on what team you want me to rebuild next. What do you think of this roster so far? Not the greatest, obviously, but pretty damn good enough to win a second uh, win in the second season. And if you guys have a team you want to see me rebuild in the next video, feel free to leave it down below, and I will get around to that. Until I see you guys next time, though, peace out.